In this video, we're going to have a look at functions in spreadsheet software. So, so far in this series of videos on spreadsheet software skills, we have learned how to use data types, we've learned how to format a worksheet, we know how to use formula, but now we're going to cover how to do functions. Let's take a look at this right now. All right, so we're back again in the same spreadsheet. This time, the fourth tab, use functions. So the very first one, we've got a receipt here, got some products, their cost, and we need to find the total. So it equals sum, and then we're gonna put brackets, and I'm just gonna highlight that range, close the brackets, and we're done. Sum is a function which adds up everything within the range you select. Next, we've got some test scores. We're gonna first of all figure out the pass or fail. We can do this using an if statement. Equals if, open the bracket. Now you can see here in this uh, little box that's gonna sort of come up here, there are three parts to an if statement. Your logical test, uh, the value that shows up if the test is true, and the value that shows up if tested false. First, our logical test. Well, I'm gonna say anybody who scored below 60 has failed, okay? So, we're gonna say if this value is less than 60, that's our test. Now, comma, if true, we're gonna put fail. Speech marks, comma. Now, if it's, if it's not true, we're gonna say pass okay then close the bracket so what's happening here is our value the logical test is that we're looking to see if this value is less than 60 if that's true they failed otherwise that means they're above 60 in which case they passed remember to pass and fail in speech marks because they are text close the brackets and hit enter and there we go we can see Rayanne has passed and then if we use a fill handle you can see that Rayanne, Anmo, Umar, and Farzan have passed, but Jonas has unfortunately failed. That's our if statement. Right, now let's fill in this table based on the scores in here. So we can now work out the, the average of these scores. You could probably do that as a formula. However, let's save some time and let's use a function. Equals average, open brackets, select our range and then close the brackets and hit enter and there we go the average test score was 78 okay moving on uh look at, let's look at our highest score so to find the highest score we're also going to use a function called max short for maximum we're going to do equals max open brackets again select the range close the brackets and hit enter and there you go we see the highest score is 95 which is farzan how about our lowest score then we're going to do equals this time min for minimum open the brackets highlight the cells close the brackets enter and there we go our minimum or lowest score is 42 which is jonas how about total students so how many students we've got so equals count they just highlight the range and there you go there's one two three four five scores I mean you've got five students and that's how we get five there count is a function that just quite literally counts data but there are also other types of counts as well okay I'm going to first of all show you a count if so we're counting how many cells contain a specific value. So we're counting if it has the value. So we're going to do equals count if, open the brackets, then we've got our range and the criteria. So this is our range, then comma, and we're going to say pass, close brackets because you've got number pass four which is true we've got one two three four all right so now we're going to look at a function called v lookup in this table over here we're going to enter a student's name we can then see whether or not that student has passed or failed and i'll update automatically every time i change the student's name equals v lookup open the bracket 
First of all, I'll look up value. Always pay attention to this box. It indicates to you what you've got to do. So look up value. We're going to select this cell just here. Comma. Now table array. That just means the table we're getting the value from. So that's this table here. We're going to highlight that array there, that range. Comma. Column index number. Now that is where the value we want to get is located, which column it's in. By the way, just a heads up, when you select any table, make sure the first column you select is the column where this data is in. Well, column index, this, this is one, this is two, this is three. So we're gonna put a three, and then for the final part, we just write false and close the brackets. And there we go. But um, what if I was to to spell a name incorrectly? We get an issue here. We get a problem. You can actually fix this to prevent any error from occurring by using data validation. Just go up to data, then data validation. Don't allow any value. Instead, allow a list. And then for your source, highlight the item that you want to allow and click OK. Now we get a drop down menu, so I know. We want to get so, okay moving down now um here we're going to count how many of our customers are members well we can also use something called a count a now count a this counts how many cells are not blank so equals count a and then we just select our values just higher the range close the brackets enter we've got five there one two three four five values in x in there done all right so up next we look at the length so how to figure out the length of uh, a cell we to equals then len for len open the brackets then choose the cell close the brackets enter finally we've got our product section or well, product performs a multiplication of all the values equals product open brackets high up the range close the brackets and there you go 11 times 23 times 34 is 8602 and that's it all right well that's it we have just covered all the functions you need to know for the exam so we can tick that one off and that's everything you need to know about using functions in spreadsheet software